Have you ever wondered where thoughts originate from? This mind-bending question has intrigued the brightest minds for centuries. A question so profound, it transcends the boundaries of time and space. One such inquisitive mind is that of Mulat Tazebu, a renowned philosopher and thinker who has dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of thought. Tazebu's perspective is unique as he draws from a plethora of disciplines to formulate his theory. These include the rich narratives of scriptures, legends and mythology, the intricate studies of Egyptology, the profound musings of philosophy and science, and the deep wisdom of religion. His approach is as vast as the cosmos and as deep as the oceans. And at the heart of his theory lies a simple yet profound concept. According to Tazabiu, the original source of thought lies within the depths of the human mind, a concept he refers to as the one brain. To comprehend Tazabu's perspective, we journey through the rich tapestry of human history. From the dawn of civilization, humans have embarked on a relentless quest to unravel the enigma of thought. Ancient scriptures, teeming with profound wisdom, often illustrate the human mind as a formidable force, a catalyst capable of crafting reality and altering the course of events. The epic tales of mythology, imbued with timeless wisdom, echo this sentiment, portraying the mind as a beacon of light in the abyss of the unknown. Delving into the annals of history, we find that legends of yore also pay homage to the human mind, attributing remarkable feats to its boundless potential. This reverence for the human mind, woven into the fabric of our collective heritage, underscores the importance of thought in shaping our existence. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of the past, we find that Tazebu believes that these ancient texts hold valuable insights into the origin of thought. Beyond mythology, Tazebu ventures into the realms of philosophy and science. As we delve deeper into Tazebu's perspectives, we find that he views thought as a product of the mind. To him, the mind is a complex web, an intricate network of neural connections and electrical impulses. This network gives rise to what we perceive as consciousness and thought. He posits that the brain, in all its complexity, serves as a central database, storing and processing information that manifests as thought. However, Tazabu doesn't stop there. He challenges the conventional belief that confines the origin of thought to the physical brain. He proposes a broader perspective, suggesting that thought transcends the physical realm and originates from a higher plane of existence. This notion expands our understanding of thought, opening up possibilities beyond the tangible, beyond the material world we perceive through our senses. Tazebu's perspective aligns with the concept of the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records, as described by the theosophist Helena Blavatsky, are a cosmic database that stores the collective knowledge and experiences of all beings throughout time. Tazebu proposes that these records serve as the ultimate source of thought, a reservoir of wisdom and insight that is accessible to those who seek it. In this way, Tazebu broadens our understanding of thought, challenging us to look beyond the confines of the physical brain and explore the infinite realms of the mind. He encourages us to seek wisdom not just from within, but also from the cosmic database of the Akashic Records, the ultimate source of thought. In exploring the origin of thought, Tazabu challenges conventional notions of reality and consciousness. He asserts that thought is not a stagnant concept confined within the walls of the mind. Instead, he believes it to be a dynamic and ever-evolving force, constantly adapting and expanding, much like the universe itself. It is not bound by the limitations of time and space, but exists in realms we may not yet fully comprehend. Critics may argue, and rightfully so, that this perspective is speculative, perhaps even abstract. They demand empirical evidence, concrete proof. But Tazibu counters this criticism with an intriguing proposition. He suggests that thought, by its very nature, defies empirical analysis. It's intangible, elusive, a phenomenon that transcends the physical realm, it cannot be measured in a laboratory, nor can it be observed under a microscope. It is a force that is felt, experienced, and yet remains a mystery. Tazebu invites us to view thought not just as a product of the mind, but as a bridge between the physical and the metaphysical, the known and the unknown. He encourages us to acknowledge the limitations of our understanding, while also embracing the vast potential of human thought. In conclusion, 
Mulat Tazibu offers a thought-provoking perspective on the original source of thought, suggesting that the one brain serves as the conduit through which thought emerges. It's a compelling viewpoint that inspires us to explore the depths of our minds and the boundless expanse of our thoughts.